wonderful job. For fellows like George, Abe, and me too, it's great to shake hands with a mob and to hold every kid on your knee too. Every word that I speak goes into headlines. When I speak, all the papers hold their deadlines. But I've found a way of dropping a hint or a glint of the truth that the boys cannot print. For instance, for instance, when I was courting Eleanor, I told her Uncle Teddy I wouldn't run for president unless the job was steady. Don't print it, strictly off the record. We entertained the royalty, but we were never flustered. We gave them Yankee hot dogs with Coleman's English mustard. Don't print it, strictly off the record. It's pleasant at the White House, but I'll tell you how I feel. The food is simply terrible, just sauerkraut and veal. If Mrs. R would stay at home, I'd get a decent meal. But that's off the record. Hyde Park. It's not for just the ride there. It's not that I like Hyde Park, but I love to park and hide there. Don't print it. It's strictly off the record. I sit up in my study writing gags for Mr. Ickes and insults for the gentleman who'd love to slip a Mickey's. Don't print that. <laughs> off the record. I scrapped the Prohibition Act when we required a bracer and finished up the Boulder Dam to give the boys a chaser. Don't print it, it's strictly off the record. And for my friends in Washington who complain about the taxes, who cares as long as we can knock the axe out of the axes? Don't print it, it's strictly off the record. I can't forget how Lafayette helped give us our first chance to win our fight for liberty, and now they've taken France. We'll take it back from Hitler and put ants in his Japan's, and that's for the record.